friends, it's Carolyn Zuck here with C6 Stitch, and today is Saturday, August 8, 2020. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm really glad that you're here. Um, I actually don't have a lot to talk about today, so I think this will be a pretty quick video, but I appreciate you spending part of your, your day with me. Uh, first up, <laughs> somehow some music got uh, put in the middle of last week's, and I had posted two videos last week. One was a flip through, and one was my regular floss tube, and I had a couple of people point out that all of a sudden my music started playing right in the middle of both. I don't know how that happened, uh, so I apologize. I was going to re-upload the videos, but if I did that, then I would lose all the comments. So I just left it, so I'll try to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So my apologies for that. Next up, I just want to um, mention again uh, with my friend Robin, who is Bird's Eye Stitcher, uh, here on Floss Tube, we started a magazine monthly challenge group on Facebook. Uh, so we've had a lot of people join over the past week, which is really exciting. It's going to be a really fun group. We don't actually start until September 1, so you have plenty of time. Uh, it'll be linked down below along with the other two groups uh, that I run, Seasook Stitch, which is just a general cross stitch group, and then Friends of Hawk Run Hollow, which is for anybody who loves or is working on or just likes to see Hawk Run Hollow pieces as well. So go ahead and check those out. I'll have them linked down below. So let's just jump right into it. I've had no finishes this week, um, which is not surprising. I did have two new starts though. So the first new start is uh, Princess Ileana. Uh, it's a Mirabilia Nora Corbett. And this is a new, I think it's a new release from earlier this year. And I just think she's beautiful. So I got the chart and the floss pack and the bead pack all from Stitchery Express, as well as this beautiful um, fabric. Now this is a 16 count called Palace uh, Fabric, uh, Palace in Periwinkle, and it's by Fabric Flare. I have to make sure there's a cat, not, not a cat behind me when I back up. So first of all, I'll show you, this is my start. And this pattern uses all of the new, the 1 through 35 DMCs. And so a lot of them are in this right here. And I think it's so pretty. So pretty. Uh, so this is the fabric. So let me open it up. So this is, it's a ballroom fabric. I am not 100% sure that I started in the right spot. <laughs> I probably should have started with her feet or her head instead of the um, where I started, let me show you on this. I started back back here um, because I was looking at the placement of her on the fabric overall and I was trying to determine where this side would end up. But now what I, I might actually go back, when I pull this out again, which probably won't be until next year, honestly, I might go up and start on her face and then rip out everything I've just done because the face I think is the most important. The feet are important as well as to where they land. However, the ballroom has a lot of floor, so I'm not as concerned about that. So I probably should have started in um, with the face. So I will probably go back and, and do that just to be safe. Um, it's better to rip out this little bit that I've done where I did maybe two or three hours. I'd rather rip that out now um, than having it look strange at the end and having to rip out everything. So that fabric is 16 count periwinkle or palace periwinkle by Fabric Flare and it's from the Citri Express website as well. So that is a really fun piece. It's beautiful and it's really fun to use the new DMCs which I didn't have at all. So the other new start I did is I did start on uh, Harbor Haven by By the Bay Needle Arts number scene 10. So again, this is a terrible, this is when my color printer was running out of ink. And now I just have a black and white printer. I have a new printer. Um, but this is what it looks like, or will look like, for scene 10 out of 12. So we are getting very close. So I started this, I think, on Monday. And this is one is going so fast. I don't know why. I think because there's big blocks of color. And I think that makes a big difference in this one. 
So from the yellow sailboat over is basically um, scene 10. So I've got all this bottom stuff done. So all I have left to do, so this is the start of the tree trunk. So I just have to carry the tree up and there's several leaves, which I have to do up here. And then there's two little clouds. And then there's a little bit of back stitching, some French knots down here, and then it's done. So here, I can show you on here what I have to do. So I have to finish up this tree and those leaves. And I don't think they came through on this printer, but there's a cloud there and a cloud there, and then a little bit of back stitch throughout, but not much, or straight stitching really is really what it is. So I think this will get done this week. So this is great. So this is going really, really fast. This is probably the fastest one. And I love it. I love how the big blocks of color and the, I just, it's such a great piece. And then once I finish that, we'll be, have two scenes left and this project will be completely done. I am stitching this on a 32 count Belfast linen in vintage spooky white, which I love. And then the whip that I worked on this week is the Temperature Tree by Stitching Mommy. And I know I explain this every week I show it, but just in case we have anybody new who hasn't seen this before. This is a temperature tree where each branch represents a month and each leaf on the branch represents um, a day of the month. And I am tracking the high temperatures for Portland, Oregon. So every day I just write down uh, what the high temperature is, and then there's a color code. So we are in August, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, which is right over here, which is this one. So um, I had two weeks to catch up on in terms of leaves. The leaves don't take very long. Um, usually I can do a week's worth of leaves in 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how many color changes. So this is July. And this day was our hottest day of the year so far. So that was 100 degrees. Um, and then it was hot, you know, of course, right around that um, each day. But, yeah, so we hit 100. So we got, I think that's the highest on mine. I'm using, like, a varied temperature. Simon agrees. He's been very meowy this morning. Well, actually, not until I started filming. But... Um, and then this is the August branch. I haven't done any leaves on that yet, but the August branch is ready to go. So moving forward, I'll just have to do the leaves, which won't take too long. I do these on Sunday. This is on a, a 32 count light blue Lugana. So this is a really fun piece. It's fun to see it kind of grow throughout the year. And uh, now that we're in kind of the second half of the year, it's fun to kind of see it kind of on the other other side. So that's what I worked on. I spent most of my time this week working on Harbor Haven number 10 because now that it's so close to being finished, I'm really motivated to just get it done, get it done. Haul, um, because I'm doing Stitch from Stash, uh, which is very difficult, and I don't particularly like it, <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of haul. I did get some DMC in for some of the magazine challenge projects that I'll be working on, but I'm not going to show that because it's just DMC. Uh, that's all I've gotten in. So pretty boring there, but necessary. Um, and then giveaways, which I completely forgot to pull. So let me let me pull the giveaways. I forgot to, I knew I was forgetting something. I completely forgot to um, draw winners and all that. So let me go pull the giveaways, find giveaways to give away for this week, and then I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Um, it probably was just a second for you, but for me it took a few minutes, but I'm together now. I for realized that I forgot um, a little bit of life update that I forgot to mention at the beginning because I've been quite, I've been feeling quite scattered um, these past couple of months. And um, a reason uh, on top of, you know, just pandemic and all of that that um, I think makes all of us feel a bit scattered um, and as many of you know, my house is on the market. Um, it's going slowly, so um, I'm hanging in there. Um, but so my house is on the market, so that required a lot of cleaning and boxing up material or materials, items in my house, and they're in storage now. And 
so all that. But in the midst of all that, something I hadn't told you uh, is that I am I've received a new job. Um, so I was very excited. So I applied for and went through the interview process in the midst of packing up my house <laughs> um, for this uh, job opportunity. So I will be switching jobs. Um, my first day at my new job is August 17th, so a little over a week away. So that is another kind of, I mean, it, they're all good things, so I don't want to say stressor, but, um, you know, I've been at my current position for, um, it'll be almost eight years. It'll be eight years in January. And, you know, I really like my work. Um, and, but I am, this opportunity came up and it was a really great fit, something I'm really excited about doing. So I'll be switching um, universities completely. Um, so it'll be a big change, but I'm excited. But it's just kind of one more big life change that's happening all at the same time. Uh, so I, I have been a little bit scattered, which I fully admit. And, and it's not quite like me, I don't think. I don't think I'm usually so scattered. But that's another reason why I'm kind of figuring out how to transition the work I've done over to whoever will replace me, which we don't know yet who that will be. Uh, so it's just a lot of moving, moving parts and whatnot. And so that's another reason, but it's a good, it's a good thing. I'm excited. Um, so there's that. Okay. But we're back on track now. So giveaways. I have not yet heard from Sherry Eccles. So Sherry, you won this two videos ago and I do need your address. Um, so if you can send me your address, I'll get this in the mail to you. If I don't hear from Sherry by next floss tube, I'll go ahead and draw again. Okay. Uh, from the same, same pool of people who said they wanted this. So if you know Sherry or Sherry, if you're watching, please email me at czookstitch at gmail.com. It's in the description box below and I can get that sent out to you. Michelle, you won you won um, the Scatter Christmas, and I still have it sitting here. I haven't gotten it mailed out yet, but I did just get new envelopes delivered from Amazon, so I should be set, and I will get that sent out to you this week. Okay, so giveaways. I was giving away this Summer Wishes chart. Very cute. This came free in a magazine. And the winner of this, I love this name, Sprinklestein Stitches. So I'm not sure what your official, your real name is, but Sprinklestein Stitches, you won this. I love your YouTube name. Go ahead and email me your address so that I can get this sent out to you. We have this um, North Pole News by Pickle Barrel Designs and Lynette Peters. Lynette, you won this, so I will get that shipped, shipped out to you in Australia. We gave away the stockings from Lizzie Kate, and these have the little, there's some little beads and charms here. And Kay Lowry, you won this. So I do have your address, so I'll get that sent out to you. And on my, um, I did a flip through of this, and on the flip through video, I did a giveaway. So you had to watch the flip through video and comment over there to win this, but I'm gonna announce it here. Um, Sharon Lamassini, Lamassini, sorry about butchering your last name, Lamassini, um, she won this and she said that August is her birthday month, so happy birthday, uh, send me your address and I will get that sent out to you as well. Now, we have four little ones for this coming, this coming video. These are going to be quick stitches for you, there's four, you, you can only win one of them, but... Four little ones that should be quick stitches for fall and autumn. So if you're doing any challenges or anything like that, these could be good for that. So the first one is a Lizzie Kate snippet. It's autumn ABCs. I love that pumpkin. And so we'll say autumn is the keyword. A-U-T-U-M-N. It's called for is Weeks Dye Works, um, but they have DMC and Anchor um, conversions as well. Next up is by Bent Creek. It's called Blessings Abound. That's really sweet, and that's a really nice pumpkin as well. And this one does have some marks on it, just some check marks over the um, floss names, but you can still read it just fine. 
and the chart is perfectly clean. Uh, it calls for DMC or Gentle Arts. So if you would like to stitch this, say blessings, plural. Another Bent Creek um, from the Littles. It's called Tiny Tim Turkey. Isn't he cute? Oh, I think he's just adorable. And this calls for a week's dye works, but has DMC conversion. So say turkey, something about a turkey. And these are so small, you could easily get these done. Yeah, this stitch count is 24 by 24. I mean, that's a couple evenings, maybe, if not one evening's worth of work. So you can easily get these done in time for the fall, this fall. So this next one, this last one, is by Homespun Elegance, and it's uh, bits and pieces, and it's called Harvest Home. And this picture, it's a real, yeah, it's a real picture. It's kind of hard to see, but... Um, it has a tree and the pumpkins and the cats, and this says harvest home. The words say harvest home. And I'm trying to see what the... It's, uh, so this is a button. It's not included in the chart. It's called our old brass house button. And I'm not sure, so this is copyright 1998, so I don't know if that button is still available, but um, you could replace it with something, you know, a button or stitch another tree or something in there, or a pumpkin. It calls for DMC. Um, yeah, DMC is the called for, but they also have anchor and coats. So if you'd like a chance to win this, say harvest. And... Usual rules, you know, you guys are so great at knowing not to say giveaway or free or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so those are the giveaways for this week. And yes, so plans. Plans for this coming week. I'm going to finish Harbor Haven. That's my goal for this week is to finish that up. I'm hoping it will only take me two or three more evenings worth of stitching so that I can move on to other things. I am wanting to do a four-hour rotation of Holly Angel by Lisa Leanne Designs. This is from Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments 2018 issue. And I started this during Jolly July, and I have part of a tree. Um, I have to put the trunk, and there's it's in a pot. So this is one that I want to, this is on 14 count light blue Ada. And this is one that I want to finish to give uh, as a Christmas gift this year. So I'm going to give this a four hour rotation this month at least, because I have quite a ways to go. I think this is about an hour's worth of work. Um, so I'm going to give this a four hour. So I have two that I want to finish in time for Christmas this year. This is one of them. And the other is the, is it summer or spring yet, uh, which is embroidery. So I'm going to try to give this at least four hours a month until I get it done. This one is a little more, a little more intricate, and it does call for um, the Rainbow Gallery fuzzy stuff, which I've never worked with, and there's a little bit of Krynik in there as well. Um, but I think it'll be really cute when it's done. So I'm going to do a four-hour rotation on this temperature tree. I'll get caught up on that. And then if I have time left over, so for Whipco... My plan for this month, so I have three WIPGO projects this month. So the center square of the WIPGO board, you can use it as a free space or you can put a project in there. If that free space was called, uh, Jesse Marie called a third, um, a third number so that those who had free space would still have, be able to work on two projects. But because I put a project in that free space, I have to work on three so that for me each project is going to get that's called is going to get 10 hours a month so that means I have 30 hours so I will be working so my plan is to work on each project the next three weekends and try to get 10 hours in over that weekend to for the whip pieces so if I finish Harbor Haven temperature tree and get my four hours in on Holly Angel um, I will pull out either Death by Cross Stitch and get started on that for the 10-hour rotation, 
or I'll pull out Spring at Hawker and Hollow and work on block two because I do want to get block two done this month as well. So there's a lot going on. And next weekend is going to be quite busy. Um, it is my weekend in between jobs. Uh, so, you know, I'll be finishing up my current job and then have a weekend and then right away starting my new job. I wasn't able to take time off just because there's just so much to do to finish up at my current job, which is fine. Um, and also my cousin will be in town that weekend and we'll be having another open house that weekend. So it's going to be a really hectic weekend. So I'm not sure when I'll be able to film. I might um, try to fit it in on Friday, so you might see me a day early. Um, but we'll get it figured out. So that's what's going on this week. Uh, thank you so much for being here and for watching. And I will get caught up on comments. And we'll see you next week at some point. I'm just not quite sure when. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.